The entire story feels like you fed a plot summary of the original Code Geass into a generative AI model, and asked it to create a sequel that copies almost one-to-one -one all of the main plot points and characters, but with none of the soul and finesse of the original. I watched it with no expectations, but was blown away by the fast pace, excellent animation, and perfect introduction to the new series. The new protagonist did not disappoint at all, and is way better than I expected. Surprisingly, give us way more than its previous installments, managing to deliver interesting characters, an intriguing plot, and connections to the original series. But once again, it fails to understand what makes Code Geass so special. Lush. It's too vague, and doesn't provide enough information to understand the setting of the story. After watching it, I thought of so many basic questions just in context to the story as if this was the first anime in Code Geass. Yeah, that's a cool ability. Like, you give them a choice to decide if they want to live by doing the right thing or die by doing the wrong thing. That's kind of sick. It made Buruto look like a masterpiece in comparison. I I have no idea why, why they even tried. It's okay. I... It, it's okay. I wasn't really going into this, personally expecting this to be Code Geass Season 3 or anything. I, I wasn't really going into this expecting to have the same kind of highs and peaks and valleys and whatnot that Code Geass initially had with Lelouch and everything. I just kind of went into this thinking it was new Code Geass stuff, and I, I, I just went off of that. I enjoyed it. I thought it was nice. A lot of the battles were pretty cool. Uh, I thought I thought the new Geass power was kind of cool. Also, the characters are hot. Yeah. I mean, it would later bring on like cameo appearances from different characters from the Code Geass universe, which I, I only know who any of these people are. But I'll, I'll have to look into it sometime, I guess. But other than that, I mean, it's all right. I don't think it spits in the face or anything regarding Code Geass, and I, I don't think it's a masterpiece. I just think it's... It's alright. You know there's actual porn on the internet, right? Pig, you gotta be able to appreciate the classics. It's what separates the perverts from the connoisseurs.